Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. And yes, I'm Cardwell. <laughs> and today we're back with a brand new deck from AO3. We're going to use some of the new rulers again. We're going to show those off for a while, just so you know. Uh, and this ruler today we're using is Arla, and we're going to just play Tribal. Because sometimes you got to go back to your roots and play the Tribals. Yep. Uh, the deck name is called Fly to Fancy, and it's all about angels. So, but before we get into it, I just remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link is down below, guys. Go check it out. See what you like, see what you don't like. And it really just takes an extra dollar to give us some love and support, and we greatly appreciate it. With that, let's delve into Tribal Angels with our Fly to Fancy. So, Arla is the ruler. Uh, it is the new AO3 ruler. He's got Stranger 10, like all the other ones. Uh, Judgment's a white and a green green, and then he energizes for a white or a green. So you get all the fun stuff like normal. He's got the same kind of clauses of regalia triggers, but he does a little bit different. So, when a light regalia enters the field under your control, choose one. If the regalia is wings of the archangel, choose up to two instead. So you can choose two cards from your stranger deck at random and remove them from the game. Or up to two target resonators gain flying and plus two plus two until the end of turn. Draw a card for each resonator can you control with flying, or you may pay zero to do judgment. So his are a lot different because he gets two resonator, two strangers, or makes your flying dudes awesome. Yeah, and, and you draw cards, I, which is nice. Yeah, it it's gonna be different to see what he does. I I think it's gonna be really cool. He seems really really good. It seems fun. And yeah, the art is amazing. Love yeah, it. the art is rather amazing. So judgment into a ten ten, and you enter. You put the top card of your magic stone deck into the field. Choose a stranger from your stranger deck at random and remove it from the game. And you're probably wondering why you remove all of his strangers, but that's because it's God's art. Rise of Armala, it is white, white, green, green. Put any number of light or wind stranger resonators with different names from your removed area into the field. When you don't control a stranger resonator, you lose the game. It's a little risky. It's so it risky. is kind of a catch-22. Like, I don't know, we're going to play roulette and hope I don't die. Yeah. But it's part of it, because you can get at least five or five to ten dudes easily. It just depends on how you set your stranger deck up. So you never want to do that against a Brunhild for sure. Yeah, because they can just board wipe you and then you lose. Yeah. But it's okay. Part of the, it's part of the part of the joys. Yep. Um, but he literally just gives you five free dudes because you remove five different names or six different names, however many, and you're like, cool, free dudes. Yep. Thanks. Uh, so the strangers I'm using, I I didn't want to go full ten single strangers, but that's probably the better way to use him, honestly. But I wanted to just do the normals. So I got two Michael the Archangel. It is three white. For a 10-10 flying, uh, you pay one, prevent all damage, it will be dealt to target two angel resonators you control until the end of the turn. So, we're playing tribal, so all my angels, I don't want to get hurt. Yep. And it's really good, because it's all angels for one. Yeah. Next up is the green wizard. <clears throat> it is one green for a 6-6. Six, six. Enter, choose a race. J resonators you control, the chosen race gain barrier. And you pay a green, target J resonator gains plus two, plus two. So, Super good. Again, tribal. Making tribal harder. Yeah, and that just is never ending. So as long as you have green, they're big. Yeah. For... Uh, next up is Ares, the Knight of God Emperor. He is two white for a 10-6, which is pretty nuts. Yeah. He's got precision and eternal. So he doesn't die easily, and he can kill whatever you want yeah. him to kill. And kill all our dudes for all you care. <laughs> it's and ridiculous. Him not dying easily is kind of why he's here, just because the gods are, if you get to trigger it, you want to make sure that you have a dude that can stick for a while that's a stranger. Yeah. Uh, next up is Artemis, the goddess of hunt. She is two white and two green for a swiftness first strike, 10-10. You pay a white, target enemy you control gains barrier. You pay a white and a green, resonators you control get plus two plus two. And you pay two white and a green, remove target resonator from the game. Just that's it. Just straight yeah, up. I mean, she gets to come into play and kill a dude because she got swiftness and first strike. Yeah. And she can pay three and kill another dude because I just want to. Because, yeah, you just can do that. Yeah. Just, just be like, out of here. Why not? Thanks, bye. And the final stranger I have is going to be one of the new crazy ones that's probably going to do a lot of work. Oh, it's yeah. called Will-O-Wisp. It is a white and a green for a 0-10. Quick cast barrier, enter draw a card, pay zero, return this card to its owner's hand. I call it banning for this card, to be honest, like immediately. Yeah, this card is super strong. It can block a lot of the little dudes easily enough, and then you can just bounce it to your hand and draw a card next turn. Or if you have enough mana, you play it, you, they swing, you play it, you you block, you know, you draw a card, you bounce it, when they swing another dude, you can play it again. Yeah. And just keep doing that. Yeah, it gets kind of nuts. This this dude's going to be pretty wild to see how much it changes white-green. Because it, it, it's free card draw. Like, literally free card draw. Yeah. 
Sure, it costs two to play him, but it's quick cast, so you who, don't really lose the mana. Because you're like, into turn, I'll pay this dude. Yeah. Who doesn't want to pay two to draw a card? Yeah. And save damage. Thanks. Pretty much. And the first uh, dude we have is Adoron, Angel of Knowledge. It's one white, two, two, angel, flying, enter. Look at the top four cards of your deck. You may reveal an angel resonator from the among them, put them in your hand, put the rest of the bottom in random in any order. There you go. Search it up. We're playing tribal, so hopefully we get a lot of them, you know what I mean? Yeah. Next up is Magnus Angel. It is a green and a white for a 1-1 one, one flyer. Enter. Choose a card from your stranger deck at random and remove it from the game. This card gains plus four, plus four for each different name among all stranger resonators in your removed area. So, since I'm only running five different ones, at most it's going to be a 21-21, but I mean, that's at I mean, most. At most. Whatever. You know. It's like half your life. It's fine. It's okay. Simple as that. Yeah. She real strong. The next one is Bethor, Bethor, the Angel of Treasure. It's one and a white. Or, yeah. Five, five flying. When it, this card is put in the graveyard from the fill draw card. Simple as that. She's still good. Yeah. That card is still strong. Because it's just a two drop that gains you a card and can kill them. Yep. Next up is Angel of Healing. It is two white and a green for an 8-8 eight, eight flying quick cast. Enter. You gain a thousand life. Prevent the next damage that will be dealt to target resonate until the end of turn. If this card entered from your deck, draw a card. Draw two cards. So, she's got a value and then more value. Yeah. Like, great. It's quick cast, so it gains you life and prevents damage that's dealt to things. And, and basically, you're killing one of their dudes, too. Yeah. Like, that's what you're doing right now. Yeah, you're, you're... she's very defensively good. If you have her in your hand, you're just like, cool, pay three, I don't care what you're doing. Yeah. All right, the next one is Fallen Angelic Destroyer Lucifer. Uh, he has flying. When this card enters the field, your opponent banishes a resonator. Simple as that. Yeah. Done. He's two black and two. And then, well, he has a different ability, but we're not going to be able to do it right now. But you have a darkness and a moon. When this card deals damage to this turn, you gain that much life only once per turn. But yeah. he's a 9-9 flyer that comes and kills a guy. Yeah. Straight up. He can only really be played one way, but that's part of the risk of playing him. But he's still good because he kills a dude. Yeah. And he's a 9-9 flyer. Yeah, because he's an angel slash demon, so you yeah. can get him. Next up is Haggith. Angel of Alchemy. She has two white and two for a 7-9 flyer. Search your deck for an addition, reveal it, and put it in your hand, and then shuffle your deck. So, you have an easy way to go get an addition that helps you out. Yep. Next one is Crystal Wing Seraph. It's two white and three. It's a 10-10. It has flying. When this card enters the field, you may search your deck for an angel resonating your total cost four or less and put it in your field. And that's how you do it. You just immediately play her, bring in Lucifer, kill a dude, Thanks, I have a crap ton of power on board. Mm -hmm. And then whenever this card attacks, you gain 300 life for each angel you control. Yeah, seems yeah. simple. So yeah, Celestial Wing, Wing Seraph gives you extra power from Lucifer or any of the other dudes. And if you go get the uh, gain life angel as well, then yeah. you get to draw two more cards. Yeah. So <laughs> you're not really losing any value on either of the dudes. And you just get to go crazy. Yep, sounds good. All right, so we go into the other cards of the deck. First is the Wings of the Archangel, which is his regalia. Uh, white and a green for a mythic. Your J Ruler gains flying. And then tap, produce two wills in any combination of white or green. Spin this will only to play God's Arts, Sword's Arts, or Angels. See, that's the cute thing. You don't, you, you can just play for angels. That means every card in your deck, almost. Yeah. Well, the other ones are like for strangers only when you're just like, well, that's okay. Yeah. Because they get removed, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. This one, Earthly Flash. It's a green and a white sword art. Choose one. Cancel target resonator spell. Total cost three or less. Destroy target res resonator. Or destroy target resonator with flying. So that's good. That's really good. Yeah, it's really mostly there to cancel their resonator spells that you don't want to deal with. But it can also help kill flyers that are in your way. Yeah, it's a cheap counter spell for sure. Uh, next, Awakening of the Winged Lord. It is a white and a green for sword art quick cast. And you choose one. Recover up to two Jezze Resonators with flying. Or look at the top four cards of your deck. Put a non-chant card with total cost two or less from among them into the field. Put the rest in the bottom in your random order. Or choose a card from your stranger deck at random. Remove from the game. You gain life equal to its attack. So this card has a lot of like extra value in it too. Because if you need to gain life quickly, you can. But most often than not with this deck, you're probably going to want to choose the first option. to Recover two J Resonators with flying. Yes. Yeah. Your flyers are pretty quick to come out because of the additions we have to play the angels and their 10 10s. So you're like, cool, take 10, untap, take 10. Yeah. Seems good. Seems good. Seems real good. Cathedral of, what is it, Armala? It's a green and a white addition. Enter, search your deck for an angel, reveal it, and put it in your hand, then shuffle your library. 
and then tap produce a green and a white spin this only to play angels and that's insane because on turn three you can play your wing celestial wing seraph with this card yeah and you get to go you play this turn two go search for it turn three get to play it you have to you have so much power on the board yeah immediately this and wings of the archangel you have an extra whole bunch of extra free mana to play all the angels you need to and keep up mana for like, spells for actual spells yeah Next is Heavenly Flash. It is two white and two green. As you play this card, you may rest any number of red covered resonators you control at flying. Pay a white and a green less to for each card to rest it this way. Destroy all resonators without flying. So most of your dudes are gonna stay alive because most of them have flying. Yeah. Some of your strangers don't, but they either have eternal or have a way to get around it. So you don't really lose very much value out of this. You just have to tap down dudes. Yeah. So as long as you're not playing against swiftness, you're okay. And the fact that you can just tap all your dudes if need be, kill everything, untap them with all the spells, and yeah. and then you just swing in. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it gets kind of crazy how much shenanigans you can do with this card. Yeah, Heavenly Flash is one. Any one-sided board wipe of any game is insanely powerful. Mm -hmm. And since you're probably not going to play against that much with flying, then you're going to win. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we go into the stones next. They're really simple because we're just playing two colors. So we got Adaractis Memoria, uh, which is the white green, like, it's the special stone that adds for your J Ruler. So he's white green, so you get both. Yep. Uh, we have Magic Stone of Gusting Skies, which is the white green dual stone. And then we have two light magic stones because you're mostly playing white. If white black was legal, I would have that in its place to play for the Lucifer. Alas, yeah. it is not, but it's okay. Light magic stones will work. Yeah. And even if you do put the black green stone, it, it cuts into your white. And you don't want to risk that yeah at all because you're most of your spells are white like every spell you have is white and all your creatures they're all white minus the strangers so yeah it's just better to only worry about getting the green whereas you need the white yeah and the fact if you've seen any of our brawls you know if once i play decks like this i will get the wrong colors <laughs> like two or three times in a row and you just cannot spare yeah. that yeah but that is the deck guys it's it's super fun i can't wait to play it but i i love tribal so mm -hmm. i'll play tribal any day of the week all the time just because nice. it's tribal uh but the deck list will be down below go check it out give us a like in the comments see what you see if you have any questions about it let us know uh but with that guys we'll see y'all again next time goodbye, goodbye. also guys we just remind y'all to hit that like button subscribe to our channel and if you want to keep up to date on all the future content make sure you click that bell it'll give you all the notifications you need with that, we'd like to go ahead and give a big thank you to all our fans that support us through the year, and especially our Patreon support people. Uh, we do like to give a shout-out to our Mythic and Above uh, supporters, and that would be Dwayne Higgs. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. We love you.